The sculptor John Henry Isaac Brower, famous for his life masks of John Adams, James Madison, Thomas Jefferson, and other prominent early Americans, created only one death mask, that of James Monroe. Monroe spent his final six months residing with his daughter and son-in-law in New York City. He passed away there on July 4, 1831 and he was laid to rest on July 7. During this period, Brower took a death mask. Initially, Brower had hoped to create a life mask of Monroe, but the former president declined to pose. Unlike the casting of life masks, Monroe was lying down when Brower cast the death mask of his face. His eyes and cheeks appeared sunken, and gravity had flattened his nose and lips. In order to transform James Monroe's death mask into a lifelike representation, I had to reverse the effects of gravity and slightly lift the nose and lips. I also had to counteract the effects of death by filling in his eye sockets and cheeks. Since Brower had not opened the eyes in this mask, I utilized the eyes from Chester Harding's 1829 painting, as well as replicating the hairstyle. Though creating an exact likeness of Monroe is impossible, I hope that this reconstructed death mask offers a glimpse into James Monroe's true appearance during his final years, marked by tuberculosis and a failing heart. Now see the de-aged version of President James Monroe's death mask. In the process of de-aging a face, slight reductions were made to the nose and ears as these organs continue to grow as one ages. Additionally, the lips were lifted further to convey a more youthful appearance. As mentioned earlier, it is impossible to accurately replicate Monroe's likeness due to the numerous adjustments required to transform the death mask into a lifelike representation of him. At times, the distinction between a life mask and a death mask can be as significant as the distinction between life and death itself. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to see more facial reconstructions of history by Digital Yarbs.